Former Florida State head football coach Bobby Bowden announced on Wednesday that he is dealing with a terminal medical condition. The 91 year old did not say exactly what condition that he's dealing with to the Tallahassee Democrat, but the two time national champion in college football, second winningest head coach only behind Joe Paterno is feeling a little bit better here. The news of his health became a topic of conversation at SEC Media Days when former Knowles coach Jimbo Fisher was partaking in his Texas A&M duties out in Hoover, Alabama. Here's what Jimbo had to say about Bobby Bond. I can't explain how much that family and how much he meant to my career and being able to be a part of them at such an early age and learn how to coach and learn how to be around the guys and what to do and how to do it. And I don't think anybody has ever done it with more class and dignity on the sideline and, and had the amount of success he's had in college football history. And it breaks my heart how sad he was, but we were just reminiscing about good days. It's funny, he said, he said, you know, he said, I feel good, but he said, I just don't have the energy and quite the zip I had and then this diagnosis come out. But hopefully I'll get to talk to him again. I'm gonna try and get a hold of him tomorrow and what we did and I got it set up to where we're gonna get a call. So, but just, my, first thing I think of him, the memories and the smiles and what he meant for me at mm. early age, but then, man, he, man, he's 91 years old and what he's meant to the coaches he's coached and the players he coached, it, it's amazing the impact he's had in this world. That was Jimbo Fisher with our Dennis Dodd. Bobby Bowden was hospitalized back in October of 2020 after he tested positive for COVID-19. That coronavirus hospitalization, not long after he had been released from an almost two week stay in the hospital because of a leg infection, Bowden started his coaching career at West Virginia before landing in Tallahassee in 1982 and the Seminoles made a bowl game every year until his final season in 2009. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.